Hey guys, one more D here. We're back for more Donkey Kong Country 2, and now we got Lava Lagoon. This level is pretty awesome. This is where you get introduced to a really fun gimmick. And this gimmick involves really hot water. I will demonstrate. Dixie, you, you, do you want to be you want to be a lab rat? Oh shit! Oh damn! And that's what happens, guys. You take the plunge in that hot water, and you are going to be taking damage. A.K. Kong's gonna be ripped. The rife is pretty much going to be ripped from the Kong, so try not to fall in that water with no Kong falling behind you. And I think I just missed K back there. I think it was placed in the hot water earlier. Damn it! What the hell, game? Guess you didn't like that whole comment about Dixie being a lab rat. Oh, here's K. I don't know what I was thinking there. Maybe it's banana bunches that was over there. Speaking of which, I'm going to just jump up in here and try to get out of this hot water. Pretty nasty things, I have to say. Alright, now we have this little invincibility barrel. This barrel will help out here. Awesome. Let me get oh while you're at it, kill that damn fish while you're definitely at it, because those things are really damn annoying. You wanna jump up here real quick, get those four bananas. <laughs> Alright, of course Ah dick! I had to jump at the perfect time. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Those guys are gonna definitely get a little bit more. You want to head to right here, get some easy, uh, easy on guard action going on here, and fucking end up losing him, and try not to chase on guard if he happens to go in the other direction, because that could very well trap you into this water at, at a bad position. <laughs> Alright, you want to try to, but yeah, you, Clapper is a pretty good ally, and he's pretty much kind of going to be like a squawk in this, he's going to be like a squawk in this game in a way. He'll be at random spots. He, he's a pretty interesting ally at the minute. You want to go up here and notice that, hey, I should, probably should have gone to left, but oh well. And this is where you could have gotten something from Unguarde. Of course, I was stupid and killed myself, but luckily you don't need him to get in that bonus. Destroy them all. In fact, you'll even get Unguarde <coughs> ahead of time, actually. Smack through all these little enemies here. Try to be careful, because you can actually screw up and die here, in, in a way, in terms of redoing this whole bonus, and I don't know if they supply another barrel for you. But here we go, we get a nice little banana bunch right there. <coughs> Alright, now that we're done with that level, we want to drop down here. Luckily the water decided, hey, maybe I should take a break. I'm going to head in this water real quick, try to avoid what I just did. Damn pufferfish. Yeah, they are getting a little bit more clever with their little movements. Get a nice little banana coin up here. And this is what you need to do, guys. You need to hit this guy. Because there's a nice little thing over here. And this is... The, you're going to be using this uh, invincibility barrel for a number of reasons. Because you're not surviving this hot water any other way. And there we go. That's how you get the DK coin. That is one of the harder ones. As well as cannon claims. That's one's also tricky because... Oh, I didn't think they put the fucking DK coin in the bonus. Yeah, that's that tricked me for quite a damn bit too. So yeah, that's... That's uh, Rare Rare being very fucking crafty on their end. Alright, so that's Log of Lagoon. And looks like... Wrinkly decided to make the Kong College on a sinking ship. Surrounded by lava. Interesting place. Whoa, well, look at just look at those sums the Kremlin have done. Disgraceful. Uh yeah, their map does suck ass. I mean all those answers are wrong. Nevertheless, here's we can save our fucking game. And we got thirty minutes, eighteen Krim coins, and eight DK coins, which somehow formulate to twenty two percent. Not complaining. Okay, and she'll give us information about Radley, Rope Climbing, Kong Letters, Web Platforms, Crim Coins, and Area Guardian. We, I like to keep the Area Guardian a, se a secret, because, well, she'll just spoil who the fuck it is, exactly. Looks like Dixie is the one to complete most of these levels so far. Red Hot Ride. I hate this level. I mean, I don't hate it, hate it, it's just that this level is very, very slow. And I will demonstrate by having Dixie take the lead. Diddy. You want to go up here and get these two easy banana coins. <laughs> and here's the gimmick. Balloon. Hot air. 
floating slowly from left to right. <clears throat> Seeing how bad this is getting now, guys, you want to watch out for this gimmick, because it's very easy to fall in the lava, because it's a lot more around you, for one thing. <clears throat> and this balloon ride is also kind of treacherous in a way. If you want to, you can do this. You don't have to try to take this dangerous route of trying to get around this guy. In fact, I think that's pretty much one of the ways to do it. You can also try to take it the aggressive way and kill that guy, but that's kind of slow. But Ranvi will be very helpful for this level, because you got Zingers, of course. You can't have a level without Zingers, God forbid. <clears throat> and again, they weren't in that last one. Then again, I don't think they would be... They would work very well in hot water-like areas, but nevertheless, you want to watch out for the zingers here, especially. And, of course, Rambi will make this part a lot easier. Yeah. And then we have this thing up here. You want to, if you want to, you can get that nice little banana coin, but of course, you have to be careful here. That's just floating over, then jumping on a balloon, because... For some reason, when I try jumping, doing the, the jumpy way, I usually end up plunging into the fucking lava like a moron. And you want to hold A here, right when you land, and then charge into this nice, obvious wall. And you get another destroy wall. Is, is it me, or is Rambi always getting this kind of duty? Nevertheless, he's pretty damn good at it, so I'm not going to be complaining one damn bit. <laughs> so he'll pretty much be able to plow through this whole area with no problem. There we go, I got 19 Krim Coins now, nice. And I think the way I'm going to do Krim Coins, guys, or the the extra stuff, is that I'm going to collect all the Krim Coins first, then I'm going to go to that spoiler alert area. And we got, you probably saw there was a bonus down here, I'm going to do it the manly way, because it, it's just more fun. <laughs> and there's their bonus right there, collect the stars. Uh, collect the stars in the air in the air balloon riding. Lame. Yeah, I don't like this one. This one, this is why I collect the stars is not one of my favorites, because they usually like to do the dumbest things with them. And by dumbest, I mean just, ugh. I'll let that balloon fry in hell, maybe. Nope, it just had to catch that hot air column, fucker. Alright, so, so far, making some distance. Try to be careful here, damn it. Great. You know what, Dixie? Just take a nice dip in there. Whoops! Oh, Basically, the reason I committed suicide there is because, well... I want to get the DK coin. That's my main reason. And I'm definitely not going to get my DK coin without two Kongs. You'll see in a moment. Love how that... Love how she throws a barrel, like, all the way over there. Somehow Dixie, or Diddy, comes out of that alive. Alright. <coughs> Now we have this part. This part is not only where you're going to get the leather in, but you'll see in just a moment. You have to get over here real quick, because there's a wrap with a TNT barrel on it, and this is what you're going to need to get to uncover that evil, evil, EVIL singer up there. Punk? Alright, and then what you want to do here is after you get under this thing real quick, because I definitely don't trust myself getting up there the easy way. You want to just jump up here, and then you want to use your partner to get that damn DK coin. There is no other way you're getting that. I mean, unless you cheat, of course, but why would you want to do that in this game? This game's too good for cheats. You know, there is a cheat mode. Damn it. And I love how Dick Dixie's just like, Oh, I'm just going to take my time and drink some drink. Yeah, yeah. I would probably be that bored, too, you know? Just blowing bubbles and drinking the sippy drink. But we're near the end of this level, thankfully. It's not that long, but it's, it's definitely one of the longer levels in this game. Especially if you die a lot on here, and I just did. Fucking hell. Great! I guess the good news is that I don't have to go back to collect anything else. Just need to fucking beat the level. <clears throat> so yeah, that's nice thing about this game. If you... It is very easy to make a one-time run, especially if you know where everything is. Shit. So far, so bad. <laughs> ah, shit. Damn you, dragonfly! No, 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 get up the fuck. Damn. Yeah, 
What the hell did I just say? I don't know, but apparently I was being very stupid there. Nevertheless, barely lived. Barely. Just barely. I mean, Donkey Kong's head, or Diddy Kong's head was like, well, under lava almost, but... Apparently, the game doesn't count you dead yet. <coughs> it counts you dead once you get well below it. Which I will never understand that, but <coughs> I'm not gonna complain. Okay, get my end back again, and now slowly float my ass from left to right. <coughs> and try not to get hit by this damn bee. Ducking does help. Because that's the nice thing about this balloon ride, at least. You can at least duck if you need to. Of course, Diddy thinks juggling is a better idea. Alright, gonna throw this at your ass, cause you're... I'm gonna make sure I make this fucking jump, damn it. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm gonna try to be careful here. This is where the... The level starts to get a little bit difficult, cause you're gonna have to kinda... Make sure you get yourself going here. <coughs> uh, but it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, on just a moment. Man, I really hate election weeks, or the month coming up to elections, because I get bombarded with so many fucking phone calls. And, and I don't mean the ones that are important to you, exactly. It's like, hey, can you vote for me? Okay. Yeah, that gets kind of fucking annoying, in my opinion, but I, you had to kind of deal with it. Nevertheless, let's head on to the right. <coughs> And then we're gonna go up here real quick. And just take a nice little floating ride to the right, and we should be getting to the end of this level. In fact, it's right here. Try to make a time your jump so you can get that easy one up. <coughs> oh, did it? You got some good you got some, quite a wrap there. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's not, kinda nice that the uh wrapping thing kinda goes along with the uh along with the music of the area that you're in themed like level anyways <laughs> and we got cranky over here i could visit him but he's probably just gonna make fun of me and call me fat or at least call donkey kong fat okay so i think i'm gonna give him a skip for now we'll see what he has to say when we really need his advice we got squawk shaft squawk shaft is basically the first level where we get introduced to our favorite flying parrot squawk and he is going to be quite the awesome ally this time. He's not, hes actually going to be doing more than carrying a flashlight. He's actually going to be your freaking flying ace. You'll see in just a moment. But for right now, we have these enemies to deal with. And we got the new enemy there, the crook. Basically, those guys are going to be in charge of throwing hooks at you. And you don't want to get hit by those, obviously. Because they do kind of boomerang back. You want to get this chest and get this nice easy one up. <laughs> I think here's a duty. Th Let's see what this takes me to. It looks like we get the data coins. Fuck yeah. Alright, so this level isn't too bad. It, it again has zingers, god forbid. But it also has uh, other s evil enemies. And this also, of course, the game level has awesome music. We can't forget the music now. What you want to do here is you just want to jump over here and fucking hell. Fucking hell. Damn, that's like the whole fucking level almost. So yeah, try to use, not jump over there. Try to use your damp partner. If you can. Of course, watch out for the zingers when you're trying to climb back. Can you stop falling, Diddy? You're fat fucking butterfeet. Jeez. Okay, get the fuck out of the way. Okay, so apparently Diddy has having problems with keeping his feet on the fucking ground, so I think we're gonna have the lady do the job for a bit. Yeah, that's a much better idea. <laughs> okay, so now that we got that squared off, try to use a team up to get in that damn barrel. <laughs> and find the token, awesome. And what you want to do here is you want to just aim yourself up. That's the shortest way to get to the top. Of course, you don't want to aim yourself to the left like I just did. Because that will pretty much send you back to the bottom, no question. <laughs> but that's the nice, quick way to get up there. And a nice, easy way to get that crank coin in the amount of time. <clears throat> Alright, pretty awesome. Did I just...
come through the continue point. Oh shit, and this is where the game really starts throwing, throwing zingers at you. But we also get introduced to our buddy, but we're gonna wait a bit. So next time, guys, we'll unleash Squawks and his awesomeness. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and adios. What flavor of bubblegum is that, Diddy? Or Dixie?